I'm really nervous. So, bear with me here. So welcome, I'm Rosalie, if you don't know me already, um, I'm a seamstress and I am starting a brand new YouTube channel, as you can tell. So today I'm going to get on here, I'm going to introduce myself a little bit, like tell you kind of about me and about what I do and um, talk a little bit about my challenge for 2020. I'm doing a big 2020 challenge, so that's exciting. All right, so I'm Rosalie, like I said. I am a seamstress. I have worked in all different things. Theater, um, doing like commissions, um, I make my own clothes, and at this point I work in bridal. Um, so I do bridal, prom, formal wear, stuff like that. Um, a little bit of like men's wear, tiny, tiny bit, just like alterations and stuff. Um, I'm not making anything from scratch at that job. So in 2020, I made this challenge for myself that I am only going to make my clothes. And I did this for two reasons. One, as I think we all know at this point, um, fast fashion is bad. Um, I'm not saying it as like, if you go and buy fast fashion, you're the worst person, like at all, because I have bought a lot of fast fashion and I may very likely buy it again after 2020. I don't know. But, um, yeah, we know it's not, it's not great. It's not the best. So no more fast fashion. Um, not even thrift shopping, which I know is kind of crazy because a lot of people are like, well, thrift shopping, obviously, but because I'm a seamstress and because I want to be creative this year and I needed something to kind of motivate me to make more clothes. Cause like I can go out and buy a tank top or I can make a tank top. I have more fun making a tank top and it's, be it's better for everybody, for the environment and you know, I'm spending about the same amount of money. I mean, fabric is expensive, so I'm spending about the same amount of money to make or buy a, a, a tank top, and I'd rather just make the one I want. So, my I'm banning myself from buying any clothes in 2020 unless I'm, you know, altering it in some way. Like, I could get fabric from the, um, a pre-existing piece of clothing that I buy from the thrift store. See what I mean? So that doesn't include shoes, um, accessories, so like things I can't make, like a hat. Not like a cloth hat, like a newsboy cap or something. I could handle something like that. But like, for instance, I bought a felt hat and like you need a lot of supplies. Trust me, I looked into making one. It was going to be super expensive and I was not going to do that. Um, you have to like buy wooden molds and stuff. No. So, as long as I can make it, I must make it. Um, yeah, so what that means is that I get to design my entire wardrobe, which is super exciting. And I don't do enough designing because oftentimes I'm just like, I'm either sewing at work or I'm sewing like, oh, I really just need another t-shirt. And so I'll like whip out a t-shirt and then I go about my life and I don't, I mean, I didn't design that. It's not exciting. I mean, it's fun. I like sewing, but it's not exciting. So you get what I mean? Um, yeah. So I thought I'd go through my design process a little bit. So I start out by creating a Pinterest board and obviously Pinterest board, that's where most of us start. Um, Pinterest is my happy place. I love me some Pinterest. So I just go and I scroll through and find some images I like. I make a lot of mood boards, so like colors and fabric swatches and stuff like that. Even if it's not like I don't want to make that exact thing, I will, um, you know, pin something that has like a color I like or like a, a design I like. And basically, I'm imagining my wardrobe as a whole and I'm going, okay, I like earth tones. I like natural fibers. Natural fibers are a big one. 
um, and I like, you know, this particular style or cut. And then I go and I design based on that. So, um, I have a few designs I'm going to show you. Okay. So, some of my designs are based on, you know, what I like to wear. And some of them are based on clothes I need, you know, for my job, for instance. Because, um, I can't really be wearing, like you know, jeans to my work, and so, even though I love jeans, and, like, I like jeans style, and I'll wear them all summer long, all winter long, I can't wear those to work, so I have to figure out alternatives, um, and some other designs that are a little more versatile, that I can wear at work, I can wear on the weekends, um, and on my time off, and I, they're, I like them for both, so, here are some of my designs, so for instance, like this year, you can see, this year I really like this style of dress. I'm looking at a lot of like prairie dresses and things like that. I'm very inspired by historical um, costuming, which I've done a lot of, well, a lot. I've done a little bit of, um, and particularly 19th century, like early, like turn of the century kind of era. Um, but this one's a little bit more... Um, more modern, more like kind of schoolgirl dress kind of thing. But I really like this design. This is another one that I'd probably make in like a linen or something like that. The only thing I don't like is this collar. Um, I'm going to have to work on that because I just feel like collars end up looking uh, very matronly. I don't know. There's something I don't like up here about just like buttoned up to a collar kind of look. So I have to figure that out, especially with like a longer skirt. I don't know. I love this design, this little um, sweater here. It's got like a lace kind of cut out on the top, um, dolman sweatshirt. I very likely will make that. I'm really, I like dolman style things that still like fit pretty well. Um, and then, let's see, oh I have this design, which is more of like almost a little jumper kind of thing. What did I call it? Summer winter dress? I don't know. Anyhow, it's got these little pockets. It's got these princess seams here. Um, this little, like, kind of vest-like top. Um, and a pretty wide waistband. So I really like that. I very, I might end up making that as well. Um, and that was going to be made out of some sort of, like, suiting or something similar. So a few super exciting things that I will be doing and I will be filming and putting up here is... Um, are my swimsuit. I make a new swimsuit every year. Um, I have made maybe three or four, but I've ended up with a lot that are not nice at all. I had one that I never, well, I, I wore it like once and then I got rid of it because it was no good. But I've made a couple that I've really liked and worn year after year and so I want to make a new one this year. And then, and I always do something a little bit unusual with my swimsuit. So one year I made a, a swimsuit that was like um, cropped with sleeves and I loved that one. Last year my swimsuit had sleeves too, but they were like little cap sleeves. I like sleeves on swimsuits. It's a little strange, but I don't like being sunburned, so. <laughs> um, and then the other exciting thing I'm making is that my work, so I work at a bridal shop and the bridal shop is turning 100 years old this year. And in August, there's going to be this gala um, to celebrate 100 years. And because I'm not making any clothes this year, I am going to be making my dress. Um, it's also appropriate because I'm a seamstress at the shop. Um, but I picked out some really nice fabric for that, so I'm, I'm super excited to make it. Yeah, so then, once I have all my designs... I go fabric shopping, and I've got all my fabrics over here, and I love, I love fabric shopping. Um, I already made one thing this year, it was this kind of rib knit cardigan, love that, I'm, the rib knit is the most cozy thing. If you follow me on Instagram, you know, I was posting like multiple times about that rib knit because it's so cozy, um, but I picked out this material. 
And I think it's going to be a little skirt or something like that. I just love the color. It's so pretty. I picked out this material. It's actually a polyester, which I don't love, but the color is so pretty. And I think I'm going to make a little jacket out of it because I can't stand to have a dress made out of polyester. That really would suck. It just gets so sweaty. But it would make a really nice little coat or something that I could take on and off so it wouldn't be so bad. And that color is so pretty. Especially like I love, oh yeah, I love having all my fabrics together looking super aesthetic. Um, and then I picked out a few other things. I'm not going to reveal my dress fabric yet. But I also got this material, and this is a big thing of wool right here, and it's going to be a coat, and I'm super excited about this coat. And I may very well line, like, the lapels and things like that with this material. That was my thought, if I have enough. Um, yeah, so I have more fabric, but the, that'll be revealed later. Um, so yeah, I go fabric shopping, and then I sew. So I'm currently, my sewing machine is in ser getting serviced. Um, I'm probably going to hopefully have pick that up next week. Um, so once my machine is serviced and I get that back, I can start on these projects. Um, I'm currently sewing in my bedroom. It's just where I am now. And it's not a very big room, which makes it a little bit tricky um, to sew in. But I do my best, and pretty soon, I'm super excited about this, I might be getting a bigger sewing room. So, um, yeah, so those are some of the big projects that are coming up. That's my kind of my design process, and I hope you'll follow along and, you know, subscribe so that I can continue to upload vi videos um, of the, this process. So, you know, making the coat, making um, the big, the gala dress, making my new swimsuit and all of that fun stuff and all the updates to come. And if there's anything else you think I should include, just let me know. Um, I'm super excited. Um, and definitely go follow me on What Rosalie Sews at what Rosalie sews on Instagram um, because I post more frequently there. Um, so yeah, I think that's it and thank you for watching. Bye!